let's do an applied problem. We're going to look at an investor who has a maximum of $1,000 which would with which to purchase stock and he's going to purchase X shares of stock that sell for $12 and Y shares that sell for $5 and we want to express this information as inequality so he doesn't know exactly how much on X and Y he wants to buy but he knows he has $1,000 at the most to spend he could spend less if he wanted so this would be the $12 times however many of the X stock he buys plus $5 times however many of the Y stock he buys, and this has to equal less than or equal to $1,000. He can spend $1,000 or less, he just can't spend any more. So he doesn't have to spend exactly $1,000, so that's, not, that's why it's not an equal sign. Okay, so we have our inequality, and now we want to graph it. So I'm going to move this up, so you can see the whole graph. And to graph this, I'm the easiest way when you have an equation like this, first of all, the graph, I'm only showing the first quadrant or, or quadrant one because I'm only interested in positive numbers here. We're not going to talk about negative shares, so I only need positive x values and positive y values. I think the easiest way to graph this would be to find the intercepts so that I know where on the x axis I hit and where on the y axis I hit. So let's find those. So we just did this. A little bit ago for the x-intercept remember that just means plug in 0 for y and solve for x and I'm gonna ignore the inequality it's just an equal sign right now when I'm finding the intercepts so 5 times 0 is 0 basically that goes away and you're solving 12 x equals a thousand divide both sides by 12 and you get x equals 83 and a third or 83.3 repeating um, either one is fine so this is oops sorry. x is 83 and a third and y is zero okay let's do the same thing now except we're going to instead of find the x-intercept let's find the y-intercept and so for the y-intercept that means we're going to plug in zero for x and solve for y so 12 times 0 is 0. That goes away. We're solving 5y equals 1,000. Divide both sides by 5. You get y by itself, and you get y equals 200. So this is the point x is 0, y is 200. So let's go ahead and plot these two points. Um, because for the x or for the x intercept, I need to um, plot 83 and a third. I'm going to count by 10, so just make sure you always label what you're counting by. So this is 10, 20, 30, etc., right? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So here's 80, and I'm going to estimate 83 and a third as best you can. Okay, and this is the x shares. And now I'm going to do the y shares. And for y, I need to go up to 200, so I'm going to count instead of by 10s, by 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200 would be right here. So just label. And so here's the point 0, 200. Okay, so our inequality was less than or equal to. Remember, that means we are talking about a solid line. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, graph that solid, or excuse me, draw that solid line. Let's see if I can do this. And there it is. And so notice I'm not really worried about arrows because I'm not worried about if this goes down into the negatives. I'm only talking about positive values here. So now I want to know, do I shade this region below the line or do I shade the region above the line? So I need to test to see where I shade. So I'm going to test the point 0, 0, because the line does not go through there. If it did, you could pick a point like 0, 1 or 1, 0. You can pick an easy point. Just can't pick this point if it goes through there. So plug in 0 for x and 0 for y and plug it into your original inequality, so less than or equal to 1,000. This all becomes on the left-hand side 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 1,000? 
and that is true. Zero is less than a thousand. So what that says is when I come over here, where the point is, it's true. Every point below the line is true. So I'm going to shade below the line. Again, only in the first quadrant here. So that means there's any combination of X and Y in this shaded region, including what's on the line, is what um, shares of X and Y could be picked. So any point in here, there's lots of different options of what would work.